So the concert starts and I lose my shit. I, I don't even know like what to say. Hey guys, hello all watching this video. If you guys don't know me, my name is Princess and I spent my weekend having a great time with some amazing women. I saw BTS day one and two of Soldier Field. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my highlights, a little of my lowlights and just some concert tips. So I just wanna start off by saying that I have been a I've been a fan of BTS since like, I would have to say American Hustle Life era, but I kind of like left the fandom for a while and then I started standing during I Need You and then I left and then I came back during like when, <laughs> like it's just been a little rocky road with like BTS, EO. But overall, like I've been like a pretty, cons I haven't been like extremely consistent, but I have, every time they came out with something I listen. So, that's kind of where I am with BTS. I'm not like a stan like I am with like Blackpink or EXO, but that's where I am. Also, as you, I don't know if you've ever heard my normal voice, but I'm sick. <laughs> and I have a pimple. But, um, day two was raining and it was awful because my throat is suffering now. I got sick. J-Hope, oh shit, um, Jimin tweeted after the concert, I mean, don't get say drink hot water, and I'm just like, too late, sis, your girl already sick as fuck. One, I was in section 206, and day two, I bought the tickets for my friend and I the morning of, like, Sunday, like, I bought the tickets for Sunday, Sunday morning, so I got floor seats in A1, row 22 seats one and two so that was a really fun view it wasn't extremely close i was kind of in like a weird area where it was like i was either looking at the screen right in front of me or i was looking like in at their backs like on the b stage so it was kind of like an awkward kind of like position to be in but it wasn't too bad so just letting you guys know i think it's totally fine yeah, for day two, I bought the tickets, like, the day of, because my friend Crystal, who was leaving for China the next day, she she bought tickets for, she had a ticket for day one and a ticket for day two, but the person that she bought it on Twitter from literally, like, scammed her and, like, texted her in the morning, like, hey, blah, 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 your ticket, like, someone scammed me, so, like, I'm gonna have to take that ticket back or whatever, and she was gonna meet this girl meet up with this girl so she was like obviously distraught and i just ended up looking on stuff up the day up and we got two floor seats for 125 dollars each i mean after taxes it was 150 but i paid two <laughs> how much did i pay i paid 250 for my section 206 seat for day one and that was when the tickets originally went on sale it also took me 50 minutes to buy my one ticket when the when day one went on sale. I didn't buy a ticket for day two until the day of the concert, which I would recommend people do if they do come back and they do like two separate days. I would highly recommend that. So just that's one of my tips is if you're already in town or if you live like by Chicago, you can just drive like an hour, hour, wherever you are. I would really recommend doing that because it was... um. It was a, it was good. They won a lot more because it was fresh. And, it was like I was the first time I seen it. They did the same set list, which I was kind of upset by. But like I said, no hate. But it's just kind of like I don't know, girl. It's kind of like the same thing. <coughs> <coughs> That's what I get for shit off in the council, low key. <laughs> so you know that happened. So I'm just gonna talk about day one now. So day one, Crystal and I, my friend Crystal and I we i was in a hotel room with like five girls it was like me crystal and including it was my two friends and one of their cousins so shout out to and jocelyn 
and Jasmine. I love you guys. We had so much fun. My friends that had sound checked <coughs> recommended to not do it because you're waiting in line for literal hours. People were people were already lined up before nine, like you know the official thing said, which is of course you know, but you're waiting in line for literally hours to get your wristband. There's like seven or eight hundred VIPs, you know, sound check like that's VIP for the love for the speak yourself tour basically and it comes with a lanyard like a laminate which i thought was really cute <laughs> and um they they were like don't they were like next year i'm not gonna do it which i totally agree with because for blink vip i i saw black pink in chicago um april 24th so it's been almost a month um i had a good time like i got i was right in the center like of the pit like of the b stage but all that line waiting and waiting for sound check and blah blah blah. Down at the numbers for speak yourself for sound check, they did not do that for Black Pink, so that's nice. But it's not really worth it because you're waiting in line for so long, and then it's literally they perform three songs and they're gone and they're probably tired. You know that like she was telling me she was like they look kind of tired, like they weren't really in it and you know stuff like that. So that's just a tip <laughs> from them to you <laughs> so going back to crystal and i the day of we first we we walked from our hotel because we were on state street and our and coincidentally the bts pop-up was on state street so for day one we went to the pop-up just to like you know kind of see it and it was literally like you know how big a block is in a big city like a chicago block it was wrapped around the block and at the end of the block like past the uh, past the pop-up like door you could see the line starting so basically um the security guard was telling me it was about a two and a half hour wait and i was like oh hell no and so we took a lift to the stadium and we got our light sticks we got our army bongs it was so much fun and we got them paired up for the night and after that we went back to our hotel and you know I pre-gamed a little bit. <laughs> Did I pre-game that night or the other night? Whatever. But yeah, like it was, that was fun. And <laughs> we decided to head to the stadium around six, which was a terrible idea because traffic was insane. Tip number two, don't wait. Don't even wait two hours. I, we waited an hour. That was a mistake because when our tax, like our, we were 20 minutes away from the stadium, like, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get to the stadium from State Street to, you know, Soldier Field. Like, it's not... We I, we walked there, like, day two. You know, like, we walked from the stadium day two. But day one, Crystal and I took a taxi. And um, we were literally in traffic for, like, 30 or 40... Almost an hour because it was, like, 7 o'clock. Then it became 7.10. And we were freaking out. We were like, okay, we're probably just going to have... Like, in... Okay. Let me calm down. It was a little anxiety inducing. Even though I knew they would start late. I like to be on... I like to go to concerts early or just straight up on time. So, our taxi was in traffic. And, and people were walking. And they were going faster than the cars. Because they blocked out a street and not a lot of people knew that before you know because the chicago rush you know so you know and it was also during rush hour and it was fucking terrible so our driver story time real quick our driver was like okay just get out you know blah blah, blah. and we're like okay so we're we're in a suburb cl very very close to the stadium and he was gonna drop us off at like the taxi lift uber drop off i think on like 18th street it was it's a little walk from the stadium but it's like the drop off for like concerts and events for Soldier Field. And so our taxi driver, like I said, was like, okay guys, get out of the car, you know? And he goes on the side of the road, but he's on a corner so that no one can can go ahead of him, you know? And Crystal was like, move up, move up. And our, our driver was foreign. So I don't think he really like understood what Crystal was saying or like wasn't really processing it because of the stress of the drive. And another taxi driver, He's already honking at us from, from the behind and he comes out of his taxi. He's a driver. Like he's not like a person that's, you know, and so he comes out of the car and he, he comes up to our window. <laughs> this is so Chicago. Like this is so big city. He comes up to our driver's window. It was like, 
hey fucker get out of the fucking car like it was i was like Crystal and I were so scared. He was like, you can't, you can't just get on the side, like, move up, blah, blah, And then our driver literally, like, he was like, oh, fuck you, bitch, motherfucker. Oh, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. And I'm like, Crystal, we gotta go. <laughs> like, we gotta leave. And so the dude still doesn't move up. And Crystal is trying to, like, pay the taxi with her debit card, and it's not working. <laughs> and the dude's just like, move up, move up, fucker, move up. I'll fucking kill you. And then the driver, our driver, is yelling at him, like, the other taxi. And eventually it works, and we just jump out, and we just start running to the arena. Not running, but, like, very fastly walking. <laughs> so that was a little horrifying. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. <laughs> so... It was a little traumatic and we got there because the concert said it started at 7 30 and we got there <coughs> we got to our seats by 7 20 and crystal was actually in the 100s and i was in the 200s and <laughs> it was funny because i was right below her i was row two and she was like row i think five or six in 107 or one 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 of the 100 levels and i was like crystal and she was like hi <laughs> so that was a lot of fun so the concert starts and I lose my shit. I I don't even know like what to say. You gotta be on a bed. You gotta be on a bed. Yes. Hey, yes. Yes. Like, BTS are such amazing performers. Day one was definitely peak. Um, we were, like, like I said, we were almost there late, but, like, we made it. And I'm so happy I got there early because, like, you know, like, I was, like, hyping up the crowd. Like, I was hyping up, like, the, two, like, the section we were at. And I loved my section on day one more than day two. The people at day two, I think they've already seen the concert. And they were just like, well, <laughs> you know, some people in my section, like, were not happy. But the girls in front of me on day two were very fun. So shout out to you guys. If you guys remember this thing. I also wore my Young headband on day one. And it was a lot of fun. Everyone was like, oh, like, everyone was like pointing at my headband. I'm like, yes, it's Tay. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's Tay Latte. <laughs> By the way, V is my bias. So Young. I know how to say Definitely a highlight I remember is just like, I did not stand Jin before. Like, I've been sleeping on Jin for a really long time. And he's just like bias fracked me. Like, I was just very shocked. Like, because I'm always like, oh, Jin this, oh, Jin that, you know, like just making fun of him, you know, be trolly. But it was like, when he was like, she got, got, I, like, I lost my shit. I was like, oh my God, like, you are beautiful. Like, you are so amazing. And I was just so happy to just like be there. I'll show you guys clips. Okay, heteros, I'm gonna do a quick concert intermission. I'm just gonna talk over this. I, this is a great picture I got on the floor. We met these cute ass armies when we went to breakfast. Here's Jungkooki doing his thing, being sexy maknae. We got Boy With Love. Hopefully that don't get me demonetized. You already know what's good. They looking great, fine as fuck. Then I took a picture during I still want you. And then J-Ho fucking feeling himself like the true narcissist king that he is. I mean, you have to be to be a fucking idol, but he was really feeling himself and it was great. And finally, we got Jen and B, um, the men that rule my life. One of the reasons why I got a day two ticket was to actually see Singularity again, but like this time actually see the stage because looking through a screen is one thing, but actually seeing it is another, even though... It was a he was a small person still from the stage because it was the back of the stage. So this like, V's my bias. You know I had the rep. Oh God! Oh no! No, I'm scared. he was so daddy i was just like oh like he was just like he was on the bed on the ceramic bed and he was like i know all y'all hoes want me yeah you know, even though singularity is not really about that and like i just loved the whole concept of tear it's basically about like 
you know, solemn and, you know, stuff. But then, like, he performs it in, like, American... Like, it's low and sensual sounding. So, like, people that don't really... I mean, even if you're Korean, you can still, like, find it sensual and stuff. But especially foreign fans were just like, Oh my god, you're so hot! And it was so great. Um, what else can I think? Oh yeah, day two, Jungkook was not able to fly in the sky. And he was just dancing around the B stage. And I felt very bad for him. He looked very sad. <laughs> like, our poor baby. Um, that was amazing. Seeing Jungkook, like, actually, like, in the sky. <laughs> It was just so awkward, but it's fun, you know, like it was fun seeing him in that state. I was like, oh my gosh, like, oh, he's up in the sky. Like, that's the thing we're doing. And I knew he was going to do that, you know, because I saw videos from the Rose Bowl and I knew the set list. People in my party were like, don't spoil me with the set list. I'm just like, okay, like I, I like knowing the set list and what I'm getting into. So I didn't really care, but I totally respect it. Um, what else happened on day one? Oh yeah, um, Young, Chicago is lit. <laughs> They did a lot of the similar things with day one that they did for day two when it came to like intros and stuff. Except I'm pretty sure Tay, like day two, he was like, he was like, I'm not good at English, but I prepared this speech. I'm speaking English. Okay, bye. <laughs> Oh yeah, they did like the touchdown thing on the main stage. And Ramon was like, Oh, Soldier Field Chicago Bear. Uh and then we were like, Well yeah. We we're like, oh god, okay, like the corny, like, um, what is it usually like the corny city jokes, you know, about like hot dog and the Chicago hot, you know, all this stuff. Um, and so there's another thing I remember too. Um, so we were basically we were, they were like doing like a touchdown thing on stage and he was like he gave Jungkook a towel and he was like going over people like he was trying to like recreate like American football you know and then like I think Hobie was at the end and like he tackled him and then he was like touchdown and everyone lost their shit we were like wow Jungkook I, but like everyone was losing their shit and then um day two by the way was cold as fuck it was raining day one Ratmon was like oh y'all uh army stopped the rain and then we were like woohoo because the cameras i told them don't worry chicago army's gonna stop the rain because yeah! yeah! it was projected to rain day one but then day two it literally rained almost the whole time except for like 30 minutes where it didn't i'm just like namjoon <laughs> apparently our powers ain't strong enough <laughs> like what do you <laughs> Like, I know you're trying to be cute, but apparently we're not strong enough. <laughs> Good job, ARMY, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> and so that was really fun. Um, J-Hope also sung Umbrella <laughs> because, like, it was raining. <laughs> I'm just like, they are so corny, you know? Leader, father, Kim Namjoon, had this three-minute speech about, you know, like, rain and, like, he was so woke and it was about like how um basically it was basically it was basically I keep saying basically it was a thank you to ARMY basically and I'll leave what he was talking about I'll put the video here so true for six years but you blessed us here in this city Chicago yeah. I forgive you I am. Okay. that's 
so happy, you know, with day two. I love seeing everything from a different angle. Um, I love like going from single from V singularity to fake love because I just love tear. Also, let's talk about outro tear. It slapped. It was hard as fuck. We're all quaking, we're all shaking, we're all off llama laking, you know. And so that was really nice. We met a lot of like really like I was gonna say we met a lot of like really adorable armies there. Um <laughs> We actually met two girls after day two, like when we were walking home. Also, another recommendation, don't get an Uber or a Lyft at the stadium because no matter what stadium you go to, they'll most likely close off all the roads, you know, around it, which makes sense, you know. So we actually walked from the museum campus, you know, kind of like Soldier Field area to Michigan Avenue. And we actually just walked home <laughs> because we were in a group, you know. So that was fun, you know, I didn't mind doing that. But tip number three, walk a lot. You're like, you're gonna be walking, you're gonna be walking a good amount, but either train your body to do that and like work out before the concert or literally just bring pain medication because I had like no pain meds. And I, cause my body's not used to walking so much. Like I'm not from big city, I'm from fucking but fuck nowhere in Mich in like western michigan you know so just like another tip for that um we didn't mind because we were just having so much fun <laughs> last night we were just being so thirsty we were like oh my god daddy uh, you know like we were just being so much we were just having so much fun we, we went to crystal went back to china and i was very depressed because my chinese angel was leaving me biggest ooh -ooh ever <laughs> and um Jasmine and Khadija and I went to the BTS pop-up, which was actually like kind of more than I thought it'd be, but I don't know if it's because BTS are like in between album cycles or like tour wise in between like concepts. So it's just like the merch was very expensive. We didn't I didn't buy anything. When you come in, you get this. Come in, you get a wristband, but it's like a slap-on wristband. It's not like a you know, like the ones that you thought were cool as fuck when you were a kid. Hold on. Yeah, whatever. So basically, it just says, like, the Speak Yourself and, like, the you know, BTS Army logo. Then it says, find your name. Shit, I can't read backwards. <laughs> it says, find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. And my friend told me it's from Namjoon's speech, so I'm just gonna believe her. <laughs> Love kind of, like, being in their presence. Um, I think Jin is definitely like my bias record now, um, for sure. It really changed my perspective. Everyone performed amazing on the second day. Um, and I was just really grateful to be a part of that experience because I regret nothing about buying the ticket the second day. And Crystal and I got to sit next to each other. So it was just a lot of fun for both of us. So overall the experience was a lot of fun i'll definitely be putting like different things in between here um next year i'm definitely getting the closest i can we're already planning next year <laughs> like our group was like we're doing this and this and we're gonna get close from here like it was so much fun um and i think it's so important to go with people that like you know i literally met these girls like months ago when we were seeing bts in a theater and I met them there and it's just like started from the bottom now we here like we're literally seeing BTS like it was amazing and I just I can definitely tell I found just like an amazing group of like women that I'm just gonna know and we're gonna bond for so long so thank you guys for watching this is gonna be like a long series of concert vlogs um, I love going to concerts. I love K-pop. So if you guys love that, please subscribe. I think this will be my 11th or 12th concert that I've ever been to. I'm 20 years old. I'm a college student. So if you guys want to support me, I would really appreciate that. There's going to be a few links to things in the description. And keep watching my channel because I'm going to be seeing a lot more people this year. And it's going to be amazing. So... I also saw Blackpink, like I said, I had VIP experience, so that video will be coming soon, and that will be a part of my official concert series. So not just K-pop, but also pop music in general, but mainly K-pop, because that's like my shit too. <laughs>
you know, it's my shit. So, all right, I'll let you guys go. All right, love you guys. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>